Hey everyone, Brandon Lee here from Virtualization How To, and today we're diving into an exciting topic for all home lab enthusiasts out there. We're talking about the top five mini PCs for home servers in early to mid 2024. Now, whether you're setting up a new home server, upgrading an existing one, or you're transitioning from an enterprise server in a rack to mini PCs, these mini PCs pack a punch in a small form factor. So let's dive right in. So first off, why would you consider a mini PC as your home server? Well, here are a few of the reasons that I think they make a lot of sense to most. First of all is their compact size. Mini PCs are incredibly small compared to traditional desktop or tower servers, and you don't have the footprint of a true server rack and enterprise servers that are rack mount. This makes them perfect for home environments where space can be limited. You can easily tuck a mini PC away under a shelf, in a closet, or you can even mount them behind a monitor. The second reason is energy efficiency. I've been blogging and talking about this a lot lately. One of the biggest advantages of mini PCs is their low power consumption. They are designed to be energy efficient, which means that you can run them 24 by 7 by 365 without a significant impact on your electricity bill. This is especially important for home lab environments that are on continuously. The third reason is quiet operation. Many PCs use less power. They have efficient cooling solutions and all of those things combine to form a very quiet unit, especially when you're comparing this to an enterprise server. Now this is ideal again for home use when you don't want the constant hum of a server or enterprise server fans ramping up when it's under heavy load. And especially this is important if you house your home lab in your bedroom or a living space or some other non-dedicated space. The next reason is they are very cost effective. Now, many PCs can be a much more affordable option compared to full-size servers, especially when you're comparing uh, the new price between a mini PC and an enterprise server. They offer great performance at a fraction of the cost, and that makes them super budget friendly for a home lab enthusiast. The next reason is sufficient performance. Now, even though they have a very small size and they're not really meant to be a home server, modern mini PCs come with powerful processors, plenty of RAM and fast storage options, and all of those things make it very capable of handling various home server tasks, such as running virtual machines, container hosts, media servers, and file storage. Well, as you can see, mini PCs offer a lot of benefits for home server use. And now let's dive into the top five picks for the best mini PCs that you can get in early to mid 2024. First on the list is the Minis Forum MS-01. This mini PC is a beast with its Intel Core i9-12900H or i9-13900H processor options. It provides really good performance from a compute standpoint. Do keep in mind though, with the MS-01, it has a hybrid Intel architecture with the performance and efficiency core. So, you will have a few extra little hurdles here and there when it comes to running hypervisors such as boot parameters for VMware ESXi or uh, kernel updates for Proxmox, but nothing that can't be overcome. In addition, it comes equipped with three NVMe drives, two 10 gig SFP plus ports, two two and a half gig ports, and DDR5 memory that's expandable up to 96 gigs of memory. The MS-01 also features a PCIe 4.0 expansion slot, which is a rare find in a mini PC form factor. All in all, this mini PC is, I think, on the top of the list for mini PCs, at least at this point in time in 2024, because it has that combination of performance, upgradability, and the form factor that just makes it a great home lab server. It does retail for over $800, but you can often find it with discounts, even on the Minis Forum website, and you can buy the MS-01 for just over $600. Next up, we have the Trigkey S7 Pro. This mini PC is one that I reviewed very recently, 
And it is a compact and very powerful mini PC with an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS processor. The Ryzen 7840HS comes with 8 cores and 16 threads, and this makes it a great choice for virtualization. The 7840HS is also a uniform processor, meaning that you don't have any of the quirks or hurdles that you have with those hybrid processors that we just mentioned from Intel. It also has the Intel i226V 2.5 gig network adapter, which means it's compatible with VMware ESXi right out of the box. No drivers to install or USB dongles to have to mess with. The system is equipped with DDR5 memory as well, dual M.2 NVMe slots, and really great power efficiency. I found this model idling at about 9 to 10 watts, and it's versatile enough for many home lab setups supporting Proxmox and Linux hypervisors without a hitch. The only downside that I will say with this unit is the one network adapter that it comes with for a premium price of upwards of the high $500 range. In the third spot, we have the GMK Tech Knuckbox M5. Now, this little mini PC is an odd one for reasons that I'm going to explain. The unit that I tested with was sent to me from GMK Tech, and it was equipped with the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U processor with 8 cores, 16 threads. This processor is a great processor for power efficiency. It only consumes around 30 watts at full load which is fantastic for a 24 by 7 by 365 home server environment. The Knuckbox M5 I was sent comes with a single M.2 2280 slot, Wi-Fi 6E, USB-C 10 gig, and great I.O. connectivity. It also features an Intel 2.5 gig network adapter, so you can run VMware ESXi, Proxmox, XCPNG, and other Linux hypervisors. However, it only has one M.2 slot and no additional compartment for a 2.5 gig SSD. But here is where things might get weird with this mini PC. I had several, after I created the video for the M5 Nutbox, tell me that the one they received had Realtek NIX and featured two M.2 slots. It turns out that GMK Tech has released an M5 Pro model that is marketed as the same model as the M5, and it sports the Realtek NIX and two M.2 slots. So while it's an improvement on the storage side, it's a downgrade on the networking side of things. Keep this in mind, I still think the M5 is a great little mini PC, but if you're buying a mini PC for a VMware home lab, you will probably want to choose a different mini PC that's on our list. Our fourth pick is the GMK Tech Nutbox K10. This mini PC also sports a Ryzen 7 5800U processor and offers excellent power efficiency and performance. It comes with an Intel i225V 2.5 gig network adapter. So that means it's compatible with VMware ESXi without additional adapters. And this is one that I've had quite a lot of experience with in the lab. I have one that's been running for months now with several workloads and I can report there's been no crashes, no errors, no weirdness to report uh, that has come up in the lab. So it's been rock solid. Uh, the Nutbox K10 I think is a, is a perfect little mini PC for those looking for a reliable mini PC and an efficient home server. The only thing I will say as a con with this one is that it only has one network adapter and one M.2 slot, which is certainly going to be a limitation for some users and their use cases. Number five on our list is the B-Link SEI 12. This mini PC sports a Core i7-12650H processor with a hybrid architecture. So it is another big little architecture with the performance and efficiency cores. It comes with 32 gigs of DDR4 memory that's expandable up to 64 gigs and a PCIe 4.0 NVMe slot. One of its unique features is the additional 2.5 inch SSD bay. Now, while the B-Link SEI 12 is powerful, it does come with a Realtek 1 gig network adapter, which means no VMware support and no multi-gig capabilities. And I kind of think that 2.5 gig at least is standard in this form factor. So the 1 gig network connection and the Realtek adapter is a bit of a bummer with this one. 
However, it's still a great choice for hypervisors like Proxmox and XCPNG. But I do once again think the one gig network adapter takes away from what this mini PC has to offer. So there you have it, our top five mini PCs for home servers in early to mid 2024. Keep in mind, I have not reviewed or tried every mini PC on the market or had my hands on every option. However, these are models that I do have personal experience with running hypervisors and virtualization solutions. Each of these little mini PCs offer unique features and capabilities, making them suitable for different needs and budgets. So if you have any questions or suggestions, and maybe you have a particular mini PC that you're running in your home lab environment as a home server, please do drop that in the comments. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below also. Please do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. 